Hello again and welcome as uh, we recap the USHL draft with the uh, Fargo Force. They had uh, uh, phase one and phase two earlier this uh, past week and uh, phase one uh, that consists of uh, players in that 2004 birth year and uh, players and, uh, and young men that we may see maybe not this year but uh, further down the line uh, with the uh, with the Fargo Force and uh, one of those young men Reed Kahn out of uh, the Denver Colorado area has uh, joined us and uh, Reed how you doing it's been it's a uh, it's been a strange time but uh, how are things uh, going and congrats on uh, being selected by the Force. Thanks Brad and thanks for having me uh, things have been going great um just doing the best I can with what I have during this quarantine, and hopefully it's sooner. It's, a, it's over sooner than later here. Uh, as far as uh, is first, as far as far as you, you've kind of been doing the distance education thing with uh, with school, I'd imagine. Yeah. How yeah? How do you like that? It's uh, it's a unique situation, but uh, I'm sure it has its uh, its good side and downside. Yeah, I honestly enjoy it more than school. I think it's uh, honestly a better system. You can do it in your own time. You can get a. Uh, School done and saves time for hockey, so it's never in a rush. You, it's always on your own time. I think one thing when you're uh, when you're playing when you're, you're in a sport and an activity, you learn you learn time management. You know how to use your time, how to uh, and I would imagine this like this as well is probably it offers a little bit of flexibility, doesn't it? Yeah, it's great. It just it's a great system to get it done when you can, but you also have time to do other things. What have you been able to do as uh, as far as a training standpoint during this time? Uh, how much can you uh, can you do at home, or what uh, what have you been able to do these past few weeks? Um, I think I have a little bo- a little more uh, availability availability than other people. Um, I know a buddy who has a big gym in his house, so I've been going there and lifting and working with the trainer out in fields. So um, I've still been getting after my normal schedule by that standpoint, but otherwise. Um, just living my normal life, it's been a little weird. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, there's no doubt about it. It's been uh, unique times. Uh, you uh, have you got a chance to speak with uh, the coaching staff from the uh, from the forest here after you were selected uh, earlier this week? Yeah, I, uh, Eli was my coach um, maybe a year ago at the national festival, so I got to speak with him a long a while ago, and I spoke with Kerry the other day on the phone. Uh, your your first impressions. Obviously, you've, you've uh, known Eli for a while, but your first uh, impressions on the organization. Uh, the organization, it's obviously great. Um, just the keys for the development um, to get better as a player and get, to get better as a person. Um, they just have everything you, you need there, like a great coaching staff, um, great people, great facility, great um, town. So it's very exciting to be picked by Fargo to have all that stuff. Have you, have you ever been to North Dakota and had any connection to, uh, to Fargo at all? Uh, yeah, I was there a while ago for the Pee Wee tournament, I think Silver Stick. So, otherwise, haven't been there since, but I loved it when I was there. If you could give a scouting report on your on your game, uh, what would it say? A uh, simple defenseman, uh, get the puck to the forwards, make the right passes, and um, get it out of the D zone. Pretty simple. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to reinvent the wheel at all. That's uh, no. that's good. Um, as far as your immediate future, what are you looking at? Obviously, you know the force have your uh, have your draft. Eventually, we'll hopefully see you in a year or two. But what is your? I guess it's kind of up in the air at this point. But where would you like to see your hockey future go? Uh, I'm thinking play 16 U AAA next year, and then hopefully come out and be developed enough to make the Fargo team. Okay. Be with the force. Uh, okay. Uh, a couple of uh, I got a couple things. I got a couple of fun things as well. Your favorite. Uh, your, Kind of grew up in the Denver area. Your favorite NHL team and player? Favorite NHL team and player? I like. It's a good question. I like Brent Burns from the San Jose Sharks. Um, I think he's a great defenseman. He can get offensive when he needs to, but he's also defensively sound. And team, I like. I've always liked the Philadelphia Flyers. Uh, not sure why, but just that's that's where my heart's been. Not an Avalanche guy, huh? No, not not big on the Avs. That's okay. I was just kind of wondering because some people kind of gravitate to the home team, but uh, uh, that's uh, that's just fine. Uh, one final note here, just trying to a little bit of fun. Your um, your your pregame meal, your your top pregame meal is what? Chicken parm. Really? Yeah. Carb it's, enough? It's a good go good go to get some protein, get some carbs, and have the right fuel for the game. All right, sounds good. Uh, Reed. 
uh, first of all, stay, stay safe out there, and uh, we hope to see you uh, in, the, in the future in Fargo. But uh, thanks for taking a few minutes with us. Yeah, great. Thanks for having me, Brad.